Let's continue with a memorandum of conversation, Washington, July 18. Uh, this time the subject is Cyprus crisis. We have again, Mr. Kissinger, and of course, the ambassador, Mike Klosky. The first point, which is important is from the secretary, if we tie ourselves to Macarius without any precise way of returning him to power on the island, we will be giving anyone the right to support him. Which means, of course, that it's not clear that we are with him and we are not helping him to get the power. So it's a problem. And again, if we support Macarius, this could shift the problem again to attempts to get analysis. If we attempt a strong anti-Greek posture, it could trigger a Turkish attack because the Turks will think that it's okay, Americans are against Greeks, so we can do it. What's the point? We want our European allies to understand that we do not want to elaborate any theory which would bring the Soviets in or on the other end, establish a regime on the island which would give the communists any major role in Cyprus internal affairs. Kissinger want to explain to the Europeans what is the position of the US. So it's very clear. We don't want any intervention of Soviets and we don't want to shift the balance of forces at the political level in favor of communists. It's clear, no? But you see, it's clear, but we never mention this clearly. It's two statements of Cold War. So it's a Cold War mind. It's not a problem of a local issue only. So the ambassador Buffum makes a remark about the sovereign base area, but it's useless. The explanation comes from the secretary. The British cannot use force. Also, we have to determine what we would gain for from supporting Macarius, except for psychic satisfaction and playing up to the New York Times. He is mentioning, in fact, articles against them, against White House, against Kissinger. So it will be a point to do it. We are not opposed to the withdrawal of the Greek officers from the island because it interferes with the internal affairs of Cyprus, but rather because it tips the internal balance on the island and may foster the rubble in the national guard. You understood the, the difference? We are not against 
for this reason, but for the other reason. Few lines after. Whatever our views of the Greek government to precipitate the present situation to a crisis which results in the overthrow of the Greek government will open the way to Soviet intervention, force Turkish intervention, and initiate a course of action that could not be sustained. It's very, very interesting, you see, because it's clear that there is a problem also with the Greek government, and it's impossible to solve it in an easy way. We must not be in an anti macarius position. In 1971, we were highly criticized over our policy toward India. And now the Indians are coming to us. It just shows that it doesn't work that way. So we require a calm and cool approach to this problem present situation. You see the relation, 1971, India, 1974, Cyprus. Do you want us to send any further instructions to Cisco? The secretary answers what? Cisco should surface the clearest possibility with the Turks and the British, and he should get the Greeks to London on Sunday to have them face up to the situation. So you remember, London, Sunday. So you can count the days. We are in July. 18, and he's talking about Sunday. In fact, it's already too late. Basically, we have to get ourselves in a situation similar to that in which we are in the Middle East, where everyone needs us and comes to us. At that point, we can deliver the Greeks. Another remark, again from him. I was pleased with the French reaction about the position. And Mike Kloskley says, should we be telling the French anymore? The answer is, again, Efficient and nice, tell the French they can share our analysis with the EC9 as much as they wish to. And at the end, you see that that should make the French quite happy. Diplomacy, but efficient diplomacy. <laughs> 